So let's understand the transistor operation through this simple circuit. As you can see, it's an NPN transistor because of the direction of the current you can see. This is your N region, this is your P region and this is again N. And the direction of the current flows from collector to the emitter. That's why it is called as NPN transistor. Now, what you see, input signal is applied to the base, emitter is grounded and collector is connected to the supply voltage VCC through a register R. So when you have a small signal applied to the input side of the circuit, the base emitter junction gets forward bias. So there is a current called base current that flows in the input side of the circuit. Now there is a factor called beta which defines the gain of the transistor. So the input base current IB that gets multiplied with this factor beta to produce the collector current IC in the output side of the circuit. So that's your IC in the output side of the circuit. So when you because of this action the small signal that you apply to the input side of the circuit gets or takes the large form in the output side of the circuit. So that's how you see there is an amplification action is going on. So whether your input signal applied is current or voltage, you have a large output signal produced at the output side of the circuit. And that's how the transistor operates. The same circuit along with operating as an amplifier can also operate as a switch. How? Imagine your input signal is 0 volt, it means this input circuit, input side of the circuit is switched off. So essentially there is no current in the input side of the circuit. Therefore there is no current at the output side of the circuit. No input current, it means no output current. So essentially your V output is tied to VCC. So when you have 0 volt you have a high voltage VCC let's say some voltage is applied so when you have a 0 volt to the input side output is high that is VCC on the opposite way when you have a high voltage let's say you have a high voltage so that the input side of this circuit makes the junction forward bias it means there is a current and the transistor gain multiplies this current to produce an output current IC. So there is a sufficient drop due to the current flowing through the register. Across the register there will be a sufficient drop and the output voltage will be VCC minus IC times R. That is this drop and the VCC will be lower. So when you have a zero volt you have a high voltage when you have a higher volt at the input you have a lower voltage so that's how it acts as a switch